what I thought it was, was this wire got the blade, and then pop, and then you get all the smoke. And no, that smoke wasn't because of a problem with the lawnmower. Police are calling it an improvised explosive device. If you can believe this, found near a busy street in the 7th Ward, something that you just don't see every day. Good evening, everyone. I'm Cherise Gibson. And I'm Karen Swenson. That bomb exploded when the man mowing the lot next door ran over the device. Paul, Mur oh, excuse me. Paul Murphy spoke to the homeowner who admits he's lucky he's alive tonight. Hey, Paul. Hey, Cherise, Karen. The homeowner told me that he could have easily lost a limb or been killed by the bomb blast. And yesterday, the NOPD closed off this stretch of St. Bernard Avenue, not far, uh, this stretch of uh, North Robertson, I should say, not far from St. Bernard Avenue, uh, after responding to what the department called a bomb scare. We now know this was more than just a scare. It's basically bomb proof. Jamal El Hayek had just started mowing the lot next door to his house in the 1600 block of North Robertson Street in New Orleans' 7th Ward when his lawnmower suddenly hit something in the tall grass. Basically, I was turning this corner, I was walking this way, and I thought we had some wiring caught up, took it out, and I moved a few more feet, and that's when the explosion happened. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to tell a bomb went off. Luckily, he wasn't hit by any shrapnel from the blast. LHAX says the improvised explosive device was about the size of two softballs. What happened was I ran over a little homemade bomb, which had about eight shotgun shells in a little piece of cardboard and duct tape. <laughs> duct tape with a little wick and an igniter. His partner called 911 and soon the NOPD bomb squad and federal agents were closing off the street. Did a bomb sweep. Big old cool looking machine. <clears throat> they found the second one over here. Um, fire in the hole, boom, went off again. El Hayek isn't sure how the explosives ended up in the lot. Before the pandemic, the property was used as a children's garden. The homeowner says his family left Lebanon 45 years ago to get away from the constant bombing there. And he says when you look at things in that context, what happened here in New Orleans could have been a lot worse. My brain always goes back to like my uncles and father, you know, they're like, it's no big deal. You know, what's the big deal? They're not dropping bombs on you. And it is interesting to note, despite the blast, the lawnmower still works. Uh, the NOPD did not announce any arrests in the case, but police say this was an isolated incident. We're live in the 7th Ward, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. What a bizarre case that is. All right, thank you very much, Paul.